All right, hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. So if you have not seen my red flag videos, you might want to go look at those because uh, more states are passing the red flag, flag laws and not only that, but they are enforcing them. Just recently in New Jersey, the day after, just one day after they created this red flag law, which if you don't know what the red flag law is, that means that if, if somebody complains on you or just says you're a danger to anyone, yourself, etc., they can take your guns without any due process. So an angry spouse, uh, a neighbor, uh, in this case, it was, I'm, I'm going to get to that. It, this, I'm going to show you how crazy it is. Okay. Uh, but anyway, it can be anyone. Police go knock on your door. And if they feel that you are, oh yeah, maybe they are a little crazy. They can take your guns and they are doing it without any due process, meaning that you have to go and prove yourself to be not crazy or not a danger, paying for attorneys, this and that, without any due process. There are some states that they have to get a judge order for them to take it, but most of these red flag laws, nope, cops just show up and they can just take your guns. Uh, I think it's 13 states that have, have passed it. There are multiple states that are looking to pass it right now. And in my other videos, I talk about what their incentive is and that's what we need to fight and Y'all, I've tried to start a petition. I've written the doggone thing like four times. And every time I go to finish it, it like disappears. But I'm still working on it. And anybody else, if you are a good writer, if you know how to write petitions, you can totally write one. Um, I think it would be best to write one for every state and then do a federal one. I was working on a federal one. That way it would... Um, hopefully stop all the states from being able to do it but i think we need it at every level okay so just recently like i said 24 hours after new jersey passed their red flag law a 13 year old kid at his middle school was talking to a friend saying how he thought that the security at school was pretty lax and it was maybe a little scary and you know react in a um, active shooter drill or something like that they were just having a normal kid conversation because of things that they've been mind warped with um, I'm not going to go into any of that but, but let's focus on this but the kid was just having a conversation with a friend and apparently a teacher overheard it and somehow it got through it to administration administration comes to the kids house i mean the administration calls the police police show up at the parents house knock on the door mom's like a liberal whiny whatever i don't know lets the police into her house without a warrant and don't do that okay don't do that um, without a warrant they come in search the kids bedroom the dad has a shotgun and a pistol he is a veteran served three tours in Iraq for operation Iraqi freedom I'm guessing that would be part of uh, enduring freedom also but he's a veteran and so he has a shotgun for hunting and a pistol for home protection. And they tried to take his guns. The I guess at that that situation, the wife called the husband and was like, "Holy crap! I think I just screwed up. Whatever." And so he comes in, and let me let me get the article up. Okay, so. It says um, that he was at work whenever his wife called. He received the phone call and 
that the cops were busting in to take his guns and it all started from a casual conversation from his son speaking to another child at school and this disabled Iraqi war veteran stated to them no one from this state was going to take my firearms without due process so after hours of the police being there um, the police finally agreed to not take the guns but allowed him to move them to another location while the investigation continued they also admitted nothing was actually there was no crime committed um, so um, this in the Garden State, so in the this wonderful world. Garden State, New Jersey, liberal state, uh, their approach is usually to confiscate first and ask questions later. And victims of this approach often do not know their own rights. But in this case, luckily, this victim knew his constitutional rights. Uh, the circumstances surrounding the incidents. Um, are outrageous a student expressing concern over lack of security is not a reason to send police to the school to keep students and teachers safe I mean and then to the kids home this makes absolutely no sense they were also asked if this had anything to do with the the um, no flag I mean red flag law that was just approved the day before and the New Jersey police did not comment on that they declined to answer that and kind of danced around the issue when confronted about that I mean it's just absolutely absurd I mean so he still really his rights were still infringed upon because he had to move his guns to his I believe it was his brother's house or something like that no crime zero crime was committed and now this is in the news and so people know that this man doesn't have guns at his house at this point so they kind of just put him in danger I mean it's all over the news all over um, not that he seems worried but I'm but the point of the matter is it was like they were trying to prove a point and kind of do a little test scenario on this man I guess they didn't realize that he was a veteran and he knew his constitutional rights so what I do suggest is learn your constitutional rights and know what you can and can't do you do not have to let a police officer into your home without a warrant ever um, also we just need to fight these red flag laws because it's getting worse and worse anybody can complain on you and your guns can and will be taken away from you and if you watch my other video I explained to you what bill was trying to be approved to where states would get grants in order to so like most things it, you know it's for the money and for them to disarm the population from our second amendment right and it will not be infringed upon so, so i will get those petitions uh up as soon as i can i'm trying to make them and if anybody can help me i i know for a fact there is one already for wyoming and i'll check about all the other states some states the laws are in the works and they haven't been completely passed yet so it would be a lot easier to stop something from being passed rather than to reverse it once it's been passed but I believe that it should be at the federal level for sure that the states cannot do this without due process this is absolutely insane there is I mean no reason zero reason for this to be occurring and them to just feel that they can just take our rights away it's bad enough that our first amendment rights are being infringed upon and the fact that YouTube is now giving 25 million dollars to boost up mainstream media 
and to prevent fake news, meaning the news that they don't want, you know, the real news, like what we talk about. Um, I'm going to go into that in a whole different video because it is so bizarro that they're doing this and trying to shut everybody's voices down. This video will be demonetized. Um, actually, I'm probably just going to put it as demonetized myself because the last one that I talked about this was, was demonetized. But what happens is once it gets demonetized, it's censored. And so you're lower. So what you're going to please do this, share it, like it, send it to your friends. This is happening. This isn't like, oh yeah, it. this isn't really going to happen. That's what they were trying to say at first. No, this is going to be for dangerous people. It's going to be for just the crazies. No, this is happening for anyone. Okay, guys? Um, so, this is where you need to do and not enjoy the show. Okay? There's actions that you need to take. We can't just sit back and enjoy the show or think everything's going to be okay because these laws are being passed. Um, so please like, subscribe, share. Any donations would be amazing. Of course, my grunt style uh, link is below and tactical SHIT. <laughs> we have all tactical gear to support your second amendment rights. We don't sell guns, but uh, all the great things that go along with guns. And I'm that's about it. Y'all have a great day. Okay, some real quick gun statistics. Um, we have about 88 guns per 100 people in the United States, and that's the highest of any country, yet we still have the lowest, not the lowest, but we're 103rd on the list of countries. And if you look at this right here, this tells you everything you need to know. The more guns there are, the less crime. Okay, now I want y'all to look at this company. It's called Cubic. They do unconventional warfare, special ops forces, training, essentially a civilian army. Um, they've gotten so much money from the government, 25 million, 112 million. But I wanna uh, explain to you what unconventional warfare is. <clears throat> okay, so unconventional warfare can be different types. We have, um, psychological operations and it's gonna focus on any fears hate anger love shame what you're dissatisfied with like the government your culture legitimacy um, bandwagon like you're in the group or you're out of the group uh, your self-interest mainly fears but here's a crisis actors website is no longer available we had to go to the Wayback Machine, but look what it says. Helping schools and first responders re create realistic drills. So I come to this because this is a company called Cubic. Um, they do loan operator series training. They do all kind of unconventional type of training. Some of this we had to go to the way back because it's now deleted from their website, but uh, their website is still very available. And um, they are essentially a civilian army. Um, and if you know of Able, Able Danger, you know of Serco. They are associated with Serco, of course. But look who works for this company. This company that is a civilian army looks familiar, right? Strange.